Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to do my awkward babies. We're going to do my little Aquarians. Okay, we are going to do what I love. We're going to do now until September 9th. Okay, 10th, sorry. Um, maybe the 9th is significant for you. I don't know. But I believe it's a new moon. Or first quarter moon. Anywho, um... I'm going to do an intuitive read, and I am going to show you cards as necessary, okay? Because the deck I'm using first, um, there's no illustration on it unless it's a minor, major arcana, okay? Um, my hair is still dripping from out of the shower. So, I'm going to do my read, and I'm going to do it my way. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start of the week. My kids went back to school. My kids went back to school. All the chicklins are out of the house. It's exciting for me. All right. So there's that. What's going on, my Aquarians? What's going on, my Aquarians? Aquarians. I thought I just saw something in the corner of my eye. I don't know if my cat made a move. All right, we got the Ten of Cups reversed, all right? Not feeling fulfilled, not happy when it comes to this Five of Pens reverse. So I don't know if you feel left out in the cold, but you're coming out of it. Whatever this energy is, you're coming out of. I don't know if you're indulging a lot. I'm actually going to take a different deck and clarify that real quick. Um, I'm doing a different kind of read this week, guys. But I will tell you, right now, you got the Ten of Cups reversed. You're not happy with the Five of Pens reverse. So if you're feeling lonely, you're coming out of that. If you're having money difficulties, you're coming out of that. But this is a love reading. So to me, it's saying, A, you're either overindulging or you're not happy in your scenario. And to me, you either block somebody that you're thinking about unblocking or you're coming out of feeling lonely. To me, I think you're feeling lonely. And yeah, coming out of it. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Coming out of it, but like... I'm trying to figure out what's pulling you out of it, though, because I can feel a pull... All right, um, we got the Three of Swords under the Ten of Cups with the Seven of Swords reversed. So this is coming back around. You lied to somebody, somebody lied to you, vice versa. You left somebody, but you're returning to the scene of the crime. That's what my cards are telling me, okay? Um, to me, you walked away from somebody out of trickiness or you were tricky with somebody else. You're, you're sad right now. The Three of Swords is upright, okay? So... This talks about your emotions, and with the Ten of Cups being reversed, this talks about being unfulfilled and not being happy. So you're emotional about something, and you're looking right at the Five of Pence. Like, I don't know if you left somebody out in the cold, and now you're thinking about going back in. This isn't guilt. This is sorrow. Tell me about the Five of Pence. So, you know, you got the moon reversed. To me, you got to expose something. I don't know if there was another person in the picture, but... Um, it's like in this picture, it's like you got you got somebody who's very intuitive. You got somebody who reminds me of the style, like a healing type quality. And then you kind of got a dark energy, like the devil. So this is a bond that you have with somebody. And I know it's the moon, but it's the images I'm seeing. And I'm reading intuitively. Um, so you, there are some secrets that definitely need to be exposed in this scenario. You know, the five of wands reverse. You want to come out of conflict with this person. All right. So I'm going to start using my other deck. Um, right now at the bottom of this deck, you have the emperor. So you're pulling off the, the emperor energy right now. So you're not, yeah, the emotions, you're feeling it, but not, no, I'm not going to say that. You are. But to me, the emperor doesn't speak emotion. So you're not talking to this person. I'm in love with number two. You must have had somebody else in your life. Something was tricky at some point. All I know is that right now you're not happy. You walked out on somebody. It looks like you walked out on somebody. Or somebody walked out on you and there was lies. There was deception. There was just bullshit. Okay? So what else, my Aquarians? You want to come out of conflict with this particular person, though. Or just out of conflict itself. All right? So we got the devil reversed. All right? With the eight of cups. So now... You walked away from something toxic, or you walked away from a cappy. Um, or you walked away because of toxicity or addiction. You walked away because maybe you had a drinking issue. Maybe there was something. Um, but you're coming out of that. Tell me about the devil reverse. Um, 
I think maybe you were... All right, the Seven of Swords reverse. So now you got that twice coming back around. All right, you, the Seven of Swords is returning to to speak the truth, but feeling like you have the upper hand. Okay, um, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, I do feel, I do see sorrow here though with the Three of Swords, but this is to me it's almost like you walked away from this person though. You walked away, and I don't know if it's because there was some toxic shit going on, um, but you walked away. So it, you're returning to to I don't to to when the seven of swords comes up reverse. This is somebody returning to the scene of the crime. This is somebody returning to that particular person, place, or thing. It doesn't yeah to speak the truth, but the truth doesn't always come out. It doesn't mean the truth is going to be told, but it's going back in that situation. It's not a messenger, but it's, you know, it's the thoughts and the thoughts are there twice, you know, like trying to figure out how to, how to pull this off. All right. With the name of Pence. So it's a page of Pence. So it's, to me, this is like an apology wanting to go back in. Um, like this person's part of your pack. I know that sounds crazy, but there's like a wolf pack here. I don't know if this person's got a family. You got a family. This moon energy is definitely, um, I'm, I can't say helping you push through because I don't see anyone pushing through anything right in this particular moment, but it was upright. So this is a messenger and it's usually somebody who apologizes, okay? The emperor doesn't usually apologize. So... In order for that to happen, I think you're going to have to get out of this energy. Tell me about this Knight of Pence. All right, so it's the Knight of Cups. So you're watching this person, too. Trying to figure out what direction to go in. I don't know if there's a little bit of arrogance here because the Knight of Cups to me is arrogant. Uh, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Because... Yeah, and no, no, most people will be like, oh, you know, charming, coming in, and blah, 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 blah. This person's not coming in. This person's not making a move. This person is perched. Okay, you got the eight of swords reversed. So coming out of feeling trapped and going in a certain direction. So to me, it's only a matter of time before you take flight, okay? Um, and I don't know if it's going to be in this other person's direction or not, but it's the, it's the knight of cups coming out of feeling trapped. And I mean, this knight of cups is perched, all right? Not knowing what direction to go and watching things from a distance. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> not making a move. And the knight of cups usually makes a move, but the the, the knight of pence makes a move too. So it's kind of like you're, you're trying to figure out how to approach this situation, I guess, which would make sense considering the seven of swords is here and there was to me that self-deception too okay that that it doesn't have to be tricky shit all right I, I try not to butcher that card but like this is what you're doing so you're trying to figure out how to come how to come back all right yeah see the song's action trying to how do we take action how do we go about this you know what i mean you got judgment upright and to me, this is still, you're feeling indecisive. I can still feel indecisive, even with this being upright, okay? I don't know if you think somebody is is doing magic stuff. Go watch Pisces. And Kai just confirmed it's the first time he ever said anything. Go watch Pisces. You might have strong Pisces in your chat. I feel like you think somebody's playing magic here again. It's like you're watching somebody, but you're wondering if this person's using magic on you. Tell me about judgment. This is so weird because judgment does not speak about magic, okay? Um, I feel like, what am I doing? Aquarius? Watch your moon. I need to tell people to watch their moon because a lot of people are in moon energy right now. I think it's important that all my signs watch their moon sign. Three of swords reverse. So this is the other person. Because this, there's no way you go from being a three of swords to the three of swords reverse. And this is, yeah, see, I just said that. You think the other person's doing magic. Go watch Pisces. I just threw myself off for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. 
you think somebody's doing some tricky shit. And then with the Three of Swords, reverse, this is their swords. It's still in the air. It's almost like you think they're doing some tricky shit. You think they're contradicting themselves too a lot. It's like back and forth, back and forth. You don't know what to think about this person. This is really weird because Pisces energy was all in the same position just like this. We're just different cards, but it's telling me the same thing. Tell me about judgment. Oh, so yeah, it did. It was a three of swords reverse. So you obviously hurt this person, but we figured that out already, okay? Um, but they're they're not hurt anymore. They're coming out of it. This person's healed. And so hasn't um, the Pisces read. And I'm pulling the Pisces card with the moon. I wonder if you guys have Pisces moon. Because that's what I was just thinking in my head. Because I was just looking at this moon. You got so many cards with the moon here. You, there's something you have to tell them. Or you think there's a secret. Because this is the other person. You think this person's being secretive. I think you think that they're using magic too. What the friggle sticks is this? Sorry. They're mentioning Pisces. I don't know if you have strong Pisces in your chat. Or if the cross watcher is a Pisces and they got Pisces in their chat. Okay. Um... And I'm getting the same message. You think this person's using magic. Tell me about the moon. I, I, same same freaking message. Yeah, seven of wands. They got that shit too. They're guarded. You got strong Pisces in your chat or you're dealing with a Pisces. And you think this person's doing magic. I just got goosebumps. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, but you, you think this person's a witch. I can, I'm hearing it again. You're calling this person a bruja. You think this person's a witch. You think this person's up to no good. But you hurt them. And now you think they're being manipulative maybe somehow. But again, you're watching them. So it wasn't Pisces. Holy shit. All right, I want to get out of this energy because this is my Aquarian read. So I'm going to use a different deck, okay? But this is exactly what this is. You're unhappy right now. You left some. I think it's because you left somebody out in the cold. Or, you, or vice versa, they left you out in the cold. Um, it's almost like you want to apologize, but you're not taking action, okay? Because you were feeling trapped for a long time, but you're coming out of it, all right? I don't know if there was some toxicity. This, to me, this is saying you walked away from somebody because there was lies. There was something involved. Something wasn't being told. And I don't know if you're going to take action or not. It's not showing me anything. I mean, it's it's telling me there's a possible message coming, but yet the Knight of Cups is still, is, is still perched, okay? Um... But the thoughts are there, you know, and then this other person, this judgment, you think this person's not going to want to reconcile. I think it's something like that. This person is coming out of sorrow. This person is healing, okay? And you think this person's using magic. And yeah, they are guarded, okay? Because my Pisces wanted to know the same thing too. They're telling me right here with the Pisces looking up at the devil like this, it's telling me you. there's no way you, you're not dealing with a Pisces or you got Pisces in your chat or the person you're thinking about is a Pisces. It's something, or you got strong Pisces and you're in that energy. Maybe a moon is energy. Maybe your moon is Pisces because this is what it's telling me. And you're calling this person a bruja. Which is just another name for witch in Spanish. All right, I'm getting out of this energy. Um... But yeah, you're trying to, with the songs that are coming on, you're, you're thinking about how to take action, okay? When I just split it, you had the Ace of Pents at the bottom of the deck, all right? You, had, you know, so I don't know what that's all about, but let's see if I can get another read, because this is for my Aquarians. This is for my Aquarians, but it could be this, you know, with... Um, with the moon energy, if you're a cross watcher or you don't have Pisces in your my Aquarius, if you're a cross cross watcher, it could be, you know, maybe they have strong Pisces in their um, Uranus is here. What else is here? There's 
Maybe they're Mars. That's what I'm saying. There's stuff in their chat that you're probably unaware of, but I'm telling you, and it's not the first time the whole Pisces and Aquarius read have married like that, and I shouldn't have done it back to back, but I, it doesn't matter, all right? But this is my Aquarius, so it's I, I like to pull different energy, but it must be strong somehow, okay? All right, so we got the Eight of Swords that came out completely sideways. So to me, it's, it's saying, because the other one, you were coming out of that. You were coming out of it, okay? Um, with the Ace of Wands reversed, but you're not taking action. Damn, just like Pisces. Sorry. Sorry, my little Aquarians. I don't know what to tell you. All right? This just confirms it for cross watchers, I guess. With the Fool reversed with the Magician. See, you're not having a new style. With, these are two very magical cards, and I'm telling you, there's a two opposite sexes, okay, with male and female, and it, the two of you are very, very spiritual, and it was the same shit with Pisces, okay, but the, the male is being negative, that they're thinking this woman is up to some tricky shit, and again, I keep hearing bruja, bruja, okay, so it's like, you're not taking action, all right, you're coming out of this, though, the eight of, whatever it is that's keeping you trapped, I think is you thinking this person is using magic on you, um, but I'm not picking up on magic, but... Some of my Aquariuses think this person's doing magic, okay? Because it's just, it's clear as day, all right? But these are two very spiritual cards, and it's like you're still waiting to take action. Man, wouldn't it be nice if I can just predict these reads and I don't, I wouldn't have to do one all over again? I wouldn't have to do it all over again. And the sun, this is the other, this other person was the sun too. There, there's no magic here because I was just going to say clarify the fool, which is the woman, which is the sun. This is just somebody who's very spiritual. You guys just have some type of bond. There's been change. There's been growth. I think she has a family because she's holding a toddler. Okay. But there's been growth. There's change. It's telling me the same damn story too. The second time around, but with different cards. It's like, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. That's so cray cray. Anything else for my Aquarians that doesn't have to do with the Pisces, please? Can we have a read for my Aquarians? All right, the Nine of Cups reversed. All right, so un un unfulfilled, un unsatisfied. Um, not. You know, this was you with the Ten of Cups reverse, all right, with the Three of Pents, not not working together, or it's telling me this woman is unsatisfied right now, um, whether it's with you or a different aspect of her life, but now this is you with the King of Swords coming at it, all right? So the Three of Pents, like, wanting to work together, but you're not. You're not talking. You're not. She's got her back turned towards you, I guess, sometimes, because it's contradicting energy right here, too. They're facing each other, but the man's not doing nothing either. The man's sitting there. The sword's down, though. So the man, the man, which is coming up as the magician, which is very spiritual, too. It's not telling me tricky shit. This is wanted to come in and have a conversation, and no bullshit conversation and cut to the truth. But there's still no, there's still no action being taken with the hangman. So you're coming out of this, okay? It's either that or you need to change your perspective. Now nah, you're coming out of it to have a new start. And it's funny because there's my ace of pence. And at the bottom of this deck was the same thing, the ace of pence. So you want a new start with this person. It's just a matter of if my Aquarians take action. Because it looks like my Aquarians need to take action, okay? Um, so let's pull your lessons. Um, so... Actually, I'm going to take this deck real quick and see if I can get a different read because I feel, I, I kind of feel bad for those who are not dealing with the Pisces because that was linked big time, okay? Big, 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 big time. Aquarians not dealing with Pisces. <laughs> Aquarians not dealing with Pisces. Additional messages, please. All right. Is the King of Swords, so that's you, but it's reversed. So not not wanting to have a conversation, not talking to somebody, not to me that can be somebody who's very very harsh too. All right, with the Hierophant reverse, so either you're very non-committal or you don't want to talk to a Taurus. All right, you got Justice reverse. Something was very unjustified that needs to be balanced out. You have the Emperor. Okay, we had you had the Emperor earlier. That energy. Okay, um, so you're. My Aquarians right now are super, super stubborn. Some are very, some are non-committal. Tell me about this Hierophant. I don't know if you're dealing with the Hierophant or a Taurus. I mean, a, a Taurus are not using your spirituality or a Cancerian because we have the Chariot here too. So I don't know if you don't want a commitment with a Cancer. 
or if you're just not using your spirituality to move forward because you're very spiritual and you don't want to, it's almost like you don't want to admit it, okay? Um, we have the six of wands with the two of wands with the sun. So it's funny because, you know, you got the six of wands, like moving forward, like being victorious and, and you're looking, but you're looking right at the sun and, and this woman keeps coming up as the sun, okay? You're like, do I go in or do I not go in? Do I do I take action? Do I not take action? Because apparently you want a new start with this person. And to me, it's saying with the six of wands on top of this chariot, you're either dealing with a Cancerian that's in the spotlight, feeling victorious, being triumphant, you know, moving forward, turning into the sun, growing. This is being in the spotlight, these two cards together. Okay, but or it has nothing to do with a Cancerian or a Taurus. What it's telling me is that with the Hierophant being reversed, you're very non-committal and you're not taking action to move forward towards this person. Um, that there's been plenty of growth and this person, it's one of those being in the spotlight, being admired by other people and growing. And you're just staring right at this person wondering if is this person part of my journey anymore so i take action well the two of wands doesn't really take action they should but you're not you're kind of sitting there just like what i'm doing right now i didn't even realize that <laughs> with the hand just like this okay and it's you guys my aquarians all right whatever happened in this situation was unjustified but you're being a, a super stubborn ass about it sitting there sitting pretty like the emperor and not taking action so there's that all right um judgment at the bottom of the deck all right they were coming up as judgment too a lot with the four the four swords so they healed with the queen of pence it's just like my other one I, I wasn't able to get another read it was just reading it in a different way guys i'm sorry if you're not dealing with the pisces but listen to me it, it might not even necessarily be a pisces it might just be the moon energy Okay, so if you're cross-watching, watch this person's moon. And vice versa for my Aquarians, if you're cross-watching for anybody, watch their moon. It will say a lot, okay? So let's pull your lessons. I think it's just moon energy, all right? And I just, nah, see, denial and surrender, all right? This is surrender, need to control. You're trying to control the situation. Being the emperor, I feel arrogantness, all right? And you're in denial about something. Pisces had that too, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. All right, you're not accepting something. But this is my Aquarians. <laughs> Feeling lonely, just like I said earlier. Being indecisive, just like I said earlier. Aquarian energy, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. There's that judgment again, okay? Understanding that everything happens and everyone has their own path and everyone has their own challenges, okay? What you need to do is embrace what your brain is telling you right now, okay? Um, and failure, you know, you're feeling, I understand a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. I want to say Pisces had the same damn shit. You guys, my Aquarians, there's no question you got strong Pisces. It's not even a Pisces cross watcher at this point because you just pulled two of the same cards. And this is for my aquas, okay? So either your Mars or your Saturn, um, you know, and probably get in the way too. Either your Mars or your Saturn might have Pisces in it and you're not aware of it. Or you just have Pisces in somewhere like um, your moon, your rising. Could be a moon. Um, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, all right? But you pulled fear too, all right? And like I said, not not willing to open two sides of the situation. You're, you're not seeing two sides of the situation. You're, you're fearing too to go after love, all right? Because you're being, you're trying to control the scenario, whatever this is, you're trying to control it. Um, you're not you're not trusting it much either, okay? Um So, you're letting envy get in, um, get in the way, too. You're letting your pride, all right, because I think you hurt this person. And I feel like you're most definitely in denial when it comes to this because you think this, as my Aquarians, you think 
this significant other, this, um, I don't know why I said significant other. I almost said it earlier, too. So maybe you want to be with this person or you know this person is meant to be or you're with this person um, or vice versa. But you think this person's doing tricky shit and it keeps coming up as telling me they're they're not though okay so i don't i don't know what that's all about it was like an identical read all right um look it doesn't want me to cut it denial and the high priestess of yeah so like in your element but like um it's like denial what's going on my aquarians okay hi brother what you doing what you doing over there what you doing? What's going on, my Aquarians? Are you about to fly? You about to take off? All right, you got chaos. All right, so things must be pretty chaotic in your life right now, okay? It says the storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all common and chaos swirls around you in your life right now. So misunderstanding, and you know what's funny? Someone pulled understanding. I think it was Aries. But this is miscommunication is what this is. So obviously the two of you are not talking. All right. Well, if you don't talk, how do you know what's really going on? All right. My child, you have nothing to fear and you pull fear. I'm here to remind you that after the storm and the air is cleared, life will begin again even better than before. The silly thing is if you refuse to take shelter, it will get soaked and you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you create the chaos, you're going to have to go and clean it up yourself. But if other cause it, just step out of the way and wait. let the storm, let the storm be. You'll be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself right now is no drama. So they're saying, look at this in a different perspective, okay? They're saying, if you caused the damage, go fix it, okay? If you didn't cause the damage, then step out of the way for things to, to get better, all right? But to me, this is saying there's either a shit storm coming your way, all right, because of deception that I saw on the board and, and self-deception or self-sabotage, or... You're in the middle of chaos right now, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify this card. But regardless, if you if you cause this and you need to be the one to step forward in any situation, then go ahead, all right? If you didn't, then, then sit back, okay? Tell me about chaos, my Aquarians. To me, this is, I don't know if you're worried about chaos because it talks about fear. All right, the three of cups. So to me, I don't I don't know if you're worried about reconciling with this person. All right, if they're going to give you a chance, if they're not going to give you a chance, it's, to me, it's fear. And the eight of pence upright, okay? So it's like you want to work together with this person. It's funny because my my Pisces and my Queen, you both pulled that, okay? So it's like you want a reconciliation with this person. You want to come back together. I don't know if you want to date this person, go out for a drink with this person, but you want to work together with this person. But I think you think if you go in, it's going to be a shit storm. All right, I see if I can pull anything else. But that that's it. That's that seems to be you guys' reading. It was just 27, 27. And I want to say Pisces was the same thing. It might be like 29 something on your end, but mine is like that. All right. And you got the emperor reversed at this point. Okay. So this is now losing patience with this situation. Okay. Because the knight of swords. So so at the point, so you're going to lose patience. And then what? You're going to like, you're going to deliver a message like super quick and swift. But I'm telling you, don't deliver a message like that. Okay. I'm telling you because... The, the Knight of Swords, when they deliver messages like that, it's quick. It's like you don't think things through, even though you're an air sign in this predicament. It's because of the chaos or whatever that you're feeling, the guilt, the sorrow, something. It's like, all right, I'm just going to do it. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. It's one of those type things, okay? And I don't know if you're going to be like, well, you know, I, I know X, Y, Z, and blah, 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 blah. I don't know. It's gonna, it looks like it might be a scenario like that, okay? Um... So I wish you the best of luck, my little Aquarians, okay? I um, If you do not have Pisces and you are dealing with a Pisces, I am extremely sorry that you didn't get, like, your own like, little read. Just leave out the Pisces thing, okay? Just, and, and take the story as, um, take the story as, you know, this person that's in this situation, okay? Like, but I'm telling you, if you're, if you're... This Pisces and Aquarian, I don't know what to tell you, and vice versa. All right. 
I stressed I stressed it. It was the same thing. So there's no way really around it. I'm sorry. Um, chances are you're in this scenario, and if you're not, it's just not the, the read for you this week. I'm, I'm really sorry when that happens. I don't mean for that to happen, but it just happens, okay? Um, I wish you the, the very best this, okay? Um, it looks like right now, just for my Aquarians, like in general, um, just hang in there, you know, move forward. You want this new start, then then go after your new start. You guys have the power to do that, all right? You, it's like you're just perched watching and, and not knowing what direction to go in, but you have an incredible bond with somebody regardless of the Zodiac, and I feel like just move forward, all right? You just pull the emperor upright, all right? And right next to the Wheel of Fortune. So right now it's saying this is a time with the Knight of Cups, all right? Stop. All right, this is the time. It's a fortunate time, all right? Like, this is the time to step in, all right, with the emperor. Like, you're more than capable of doing this right now and pulling it off. That's the wheel of fortune, you know? Like, step forward, all right? Get off your perch and, and step forward, all right? So that's that's for my Aquarians, all right, with the six of pence wanting to balance out the scales. So go balance out the scales, but you have to take flight, all right? You just can't you just can't sit here and, and, and whatever it is, you have to take you have to take flight going towards this Queen of Wands. You want to balance out the scales with this Queen of Wands, okay? So go balance out the scales with this Queen of Wands, whether this is male or female. Do you understand me? But you can't sit there, you know, there's the ace of cups again. You can't there, there's love with the hierophant, you know. Maybe you want to connect with somebody again and you're contemplating, or to me, this is saying, go have that damn conversation because this is you, this is the owl. All right, you got feelings for this person, but you're perched. You're not going nowhere. All right, the Knight of Cups is just sitting there watching. What direction am I going to go in? Well, here you are looking at that, that damn cat, all right, feeling this connection. It's, it's the right time, but your stubborn ass ain't doing shit, okay? And it's saying, go, go take action, all right? But you're just kind of, you're perched. So I don't know what you're going to do. I wish you the very best, okay? I love you guys. Bye.